Hi everybody, it's Christina from prettydistress.com and I'm going to do a series of vlogs for you over the next couple weeks. I wanted to show you guys how to do a piece, take it from start to finish, um, instead of just doing a before and after. So I'm going to break it up to, into several videos and just show you the process that I use for refinishing furniture and painting furniture with any slow chalk paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, clean my piece off. I actually got this piece for free. Uh, my neighbor was moving out around the corner and I saw this sitting in their driveway. Called my husband right away and we stuck it in the van and brought it down to my garage and so that's where I'm going to work on it today. Um, I'm going to clean this off. I'm also going to take off the hardware because I'm not sure what I want to do with it. If I'm going to paint it the color of the piece or if I want to paint it a different color or do a different metal finish. So since I'm not really sure what I want to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take that off and paint it separately and then put it back on when I'm done. So right now I'm just going to clean it off and take the hardware off. I use baby wipes to clean my stuff off because they're pretty durable and I always have a lot around because I have a little one-year-old daughter. So that's just, I just like to get all the dust off. So this piece is pretty dirty. It was probably in a kid's room um, or something. So I just want to get all the dust off so that my paint's going to adhere really well. Okay, so I have some water damage and some spills on top of this, and I just want to clean it up just a little bit before I'm painting. So I'm going to take 100 um, grit sandpaper and just rough it up and then wipe it down, and then I should be ready to paint. So I'm going to tack cloth and I'm going to wipe off all that dust that I have. Okay, so I am ready to paint. I have my Annie Sloan chalk paint. I'm going to be using a color called French Linen today, which is a new color for me, so I'm excited. Um, it's in the neutral palette. Uh, it's just kind of a darker gray. I've used Paris gray before, but it's a little darker. So I'm just going to shake my can. And I got uh, my paint opener. I usually uh, paint my first coat right out of the can. And if I need to do a second coat, then I usually thin that out um, a little bit with water. So this one for this first coat, I'm just going to do right out of the can. Really pretty color. And I'm using my pretty white bristle, 100% uh, natural white bristle brush. This is what it looks like, a sash brush, two inch. So I'm just gonna dip. Okay, I finished up my main piece and so I have removed all the hardware from my drawers and I'm going to paint my drawers separately. And again, all you really want to do on this first coat is make sure that you don't have any really big gloppy splotches um, or drip marks. So... While it's still wet like this, you just want to make sure that you don't have any of those big brush strokes or drips. And you also want to make sure sometimes your uh, brush can shed um, onto, into your paint, onto your piece. So just watch out for that. All you can do is just pluck it out and then make sure you go back over that spot because it'll smudge it and take some of the paint off. So I want to make sure, I like using a sash brush, brush because I can get down in these crevices, so I just kind of blot it down in there so I'm covering everything, and then I smooth back over it. Um, you will have brush strokes, but again, that's fine because with this paint, the technique you're going for is like a, um, is a hand painted look. So 
it's not going to look dipped. It's going to look like someone actually sat there and painted it by hand, and that's what you want. And I just make sure I paint every um, piece that is stained. So I don't typically do the side of the drawers because you're not going to see that. So it doesn't really, you're just, I think you're just kind of wasting paint. It's fun to have like a cute little surprise on there, but no one's going to notice that. No one's going to see that. So unless you're, you know, you just want to spend the extra time doing that. I don't paint the back of pieces either. It's just, I want to conserve as much paint as I can. So I just kind of cover all the spots that are stained. So I'm going to do a little bit down here too. And sometimes I keep the drawers in. Um, to paint just depending this one it looked like I wasn't going to be able to get the sides and stuff really well and I just thought it'd be better to pull the drawers out but I don't I don't always do that so it's just up to you what you want to do so there's my drawer front all completed so I'm going to do that to all the rest of the drawers that I have okay so I have completed my first coat on my dresser as well as my drawers and I'm still seeing some wood uh, peeking through there. I'm gonna show you that. So I am gonna do a second coat on this piece. So in my next video, I'll come back and show you how to do a second coat once this all dries. Uh, in the meantime, you can check out prettydistressed.com for more furniture painting tips as well as other home decor ideas. I'll see you guys soon.